<laughs> this is a freaking long video and I know that not all of you guys like long videos but you know what it's okay because it's my channel and you could click out anytime you want but I said you know what I could break this up into like five different videos but I said you know what whatever I don't care about all the views I just want to sit down one time edit it one time and do this one video for you guys so if you guys want to know my skincare routine this video if you guys want to know my morning routine this video if you want to know anything about me in the past year or what I currently am loving everything is in this long video so first we're going to be starting with makeup and I hope that I'm doing everything in like order but we're gonna try our best so my first item is the Jaclyn Hill like favorites brush collections with Morphe it's not the most recent one where she like made some of her own brushes this is the first one that came out a while ago where it came with like the black case I can get it on show it for you give me a second so this is the case that the Morphe um, brushes came in and it's like a really nice black box and basically it opens like this I have some like uh, q-tips in here but yeah so it opens like this and it lays flat and then you can put all of your brushes in here and all 23 of the brushes fit in here perfectly which I love and every time I'm traveling somewhere I will bring that case with me but this is all of the brushes so these are all the face brushes and these are all of the eye brushes and they're literally my favorite I've used them almost every single day especially when I'm doing like a full face of makeup and eyeshadow so I really recommend I would say like probably my use most used brushes are the Morphe M439. This is like a foundation brush. And then this is a Morphe M438 brush. And this I use, honestly, like I bring this with me to school. I put my like powder on under my eyes. Like this is really the only brush that I use on a daily basis because all the other ones are like for makeup makeup. It was probably $150. I did get it on Black Friday, so it was cheaper. So I probably got it for around like $100, $120 something like that but I really recommend this brush set if you're looking to just kind of throw all of your brushes out and restart with all new clean ones that you know are gonna work really well so next we're going to go into all powders for the face so the first one I'm gonna start with is the Revlon color stay I have the one in 830 light slash medium this is their pressed powder and this I actually got probably a month and a half ago my mom just picked this up at the drugstore because I needed a new one I didn't even ask but she just got one for me and I actually really love it. It's just good coverage and makes me stay mad all day and it's just really easy to do a cover up when you're at school or like before work or something so I really recommend this one and the other one that I use a lot is the Essence Brighten Up Banana Powder I got this a little while ago and I still really love it unfortunately the packaging isn't the best and the like top came off but it's just like a really nice colored banana powder and I use this under my eyes when I'm done with all of my makeup just to like brighten up my under eyes and like my chin and my forehead just a little bit to like make it just look a little bit more meh you know what I mean but really like this and it's super cheap so if you're looking for a good deal on a banana powder um, I would definitely look this up on the Ulta website for bronzer I actually love the <laughs> The Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. This is my favorite. I heard so many YouTubers raving about this. So I was like, you know what? I'm just going to use the $12 and get this at the drugstore. And I'm so glad that I did because it's so nice. And it is buttery just like it says as though... It's not the title, it's the name. But yeah, it is really what it, it says it is. So if you're looking for something light that's not too harsh and it's really buildable, I would really recommend this. But when I'm doing a more like full face of makeup and I'm going out or it's my birthday or something like that, I will use that after I use the Fenty Beauty Matchstick in Mocha. I got this last Christmas and I really didn't know if I was going to like it or not, but I heard really good things about it. Well, I heard good and bad things about it, but I got it and I really like it. I think that it is really blendable and it's not too harsh. You have to like use it sparingly though because a little goes a long way. But if you're looking for a cream uh, bronzer uh, contour stick, this is for you, okay? Next, we're going on to blushes and my favorites are the 
Tarte Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Blush, and this is in the color Celebrated. I think I got this a couple years back um, for a Black Friday deal, actually. It like, came in like a little set um, at Ulta, and I really like it. It's like a really pale pink, but it's like just enough color that like when you just want a little something to go with like maybe a crazy eye look. I really like this one. If you guys have also heard me rave about the Glossier Cloud Paints, these little guys are literally my favorite. I use these every day. Every single day when I go to work, when I go to school, when I'm going out. Even if I'm wearing this, I will wear the Glossier ones underneath just to make sure that the pigment does stay because I feel like these last all day long. Sometimes the powders can wear off over time. But I have the color Dusk and Beam and I do say I use Dusk more often. Beam I use more like during the summertime when I have more of a tan but Beam is just a really good color that I feel like will go with so many skin tones. So really recommend these and they last a long time. I've had these for over a year now. So next we're talking about base makeup and I like to use the NARS Pure Radiant Tinted Moisturizer. I'm in the color Light 3 Growland. Um... Yeah, I guess, I don't know if that's a place or something. I don't know if that makes me look stupid, but that's just the color that I am. And I've used this for over a year. I got this. It is expensive. It's probably like $38, $40. And I know, I'm so sorry, mom, but I did ask for this for Christmas and she got it for me. And honestly, guys, it's so good. It's just enough covers that you can wear on a daily basis. It doesn't break me out. I have sensitive skin. So if you're looking for kind of a tinted moisturizer that has SPF in it, I really recommend this one. And then for concealers, I use two on a consistent basis. The one that I like to use that has um, a lot more coverage is the Fit Me Concealer. I'm in 25 medium and everyone knows this is a cult classic. People are in love with this concealer. Um, I know that the like Age Rewind one is really popular. I did use that one for a while, but I just kind of like this one a little bit more. And uh, this has good coverage, but I do love the Glossier um, Stretch Concealer. I'm um, in medium as well, and this one. This one does crease though if you're putting it right under your eye but when I need to brighten up an area like my chin or like right here like I won't go all the way up into my crease because that's where like it'll start to like bunch up just a little bit but it's just such a nice healthy looking concealer that I really love on my like a daily basis for school. So moving on to brows which I love I've been using the same two products for multiple years now but um I love the Anastasia Brow Wiz. I'm in chocolate. This is like the thinner one one. I love to stock up on these on Black Friday. They usually have them um, as like a deal or honestly like when they have the month-long things where like every day there's a certain deal. They will always have one where these are $10 and I will get two and they will last me for the whole year or a year and a half. And then I also love the Glossier Boy Brow. I'm in brown. Yes. And I didn't use this for like two months and I was like maybe I don't love it as much as I thought I did because I'd run out and then I re-got it um, in December and I was like why did I stop using this? It's just so good. It works for so many people. If you don't want it have like a color you can get it in like clear which I know a lot of people like but the brown is so good especially if you have thin brow hairs like I do. Sorry going back to face stuff. Um, I also love the MAC strobe cream in gold light. Um, I use this under my foundation especially if I feel like I look a little dry or I need it to be like a little bit more dewy. This is what I will go for. It just makes your skin look so healthy and hydrated and I love it. It is definitely something that you should splurge on and it will last you a long time. So now we're going to do eyeshadow palettes and it's kind of crazy when I was writing down my list for eyeshadow palettes. I kind of surprised myself that I did use one um, eyeshadow palette more than I thought I did and that was the Urban Decay Naked Ultimate Basics pa palette. Um, yeah, that's what it looks like. It's really pretty packaging. And when you open it, these are the colors. They're all mattes. And I know some people might not like this. Sometimes I just don't want a shimmer color or like something with glitter or whatever. And these top colors are so pretty. Like they're just enough depth when you'd want something to like look very natural. Like it's not even like you're wearing eyeshadow, but it makes your eyes just pop a little bit more. So I start out with this, go in with this all over the eye and then put this in the crease and it's so pretty. These two colors are really pretty. I, I like to use these two as eyeliner with like a pencil brush. This palette is super nice. I have no idea who got this for me. Whoever did, I love you guys. Maybe it was 
oh my gosh i think this is my mom's palette and i stole it from her i'm so sorry i love you but she was not gonna use this let's be honest she likes like crazy shimmer shadows next this is not a surprise my jaclyn hill palette that i love and i got the day of the first release not the second or the third the first day that it was available i bought it and i love it unfortunately i'm really mad that they came out with another packaging because i would have gotten that one because look how ugly and dirty this stuff is i know you can like wipe it down but you like, I'm gonna do that now. Uh, so this is what it looks like. It is really crazy to be honest. I don't use all these colors. That's okay. My cousins and my mom and my grandma, whenever they want like a really cool, bright look, which I know they always do, um, I will use this palette on them just because there's so many options and you can really do any look for any skin tone. So I really recommend this, if, especially if you are a makeup artist and you like doing makeup on other people, this is a must have. This last palette is actually one that I got a couple days ago from my friend Megan, I love you, and uh, this palette is so pretty. It's The Warrior by Hubius, Juvius. Uh, I'm really sorry. I have no idea how to pronounce this brand name. It's new. They're in Ulta. I was waiting in line the day that I was buying my friend Megan a present and I swatched this and the colors are absolutely beautiful. They're so pigmented. Oh, yes. Just look at that. I love it. Um, I actually use this middle shade called Moremi. Uh, as a highlighter shade and it is so beautiful um, but honestly my mom looked at this and she was kind of jealous because these are totally some of her colors but really recommend it I think it was a pretty good price probably around $20 so definitely pick this up if you're wanting a really warm bronzy palette talking about highlighter really quick I just wanted to give a little shout out to my favorite halo scope by Glossier this is their do effect highlighter i have it in quartz this thing is so holy grail for me like to be honest i wear it every single day when i go to school it is just like a nice cream stick highlighter i don't use it directly on here some people do i like to just pat it with my finger warm it up a little bit and just press it onto my skin and really press it in and it will last all day i really love it so if you want a little highlighter for a natural day i definitely think that you guys should pick this up so continuing with the eye theme, we are going to be doing eyeliners. These are my all-time favorites. The only eyeliners that I use, the Stila Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner. And I use the Intense Black, and then I also use the Dark Brown shade. And this is what I use when I'm like doing night events, or like I'm going out with my friends for a birthday party, somewhere where like the light is gonna be darker. That's just when I like to use like dark eyeliner. But if I'm wearing something for the day and I want eyeliner, I will use the brown. I I just think it's less harsh and more natural looking and it's not so in your face um so yeah i really recommend these two and they will last through anything i've worn these in the ocean and they do not come off let me tell you okay so really recommend these for mascara i have recently fallen in love with the telescopic l'oreal paris and carbon black and this brush okay this brush is teeny tiny okay it is so little but I freaking love it. It just gets each last. Now, if you are looking for a voluminous mascara, don't even look at this. Go and get the, is it from L'Oreal? Yeah, the L'Oreal Paris um, Paradise Mascara, Lash Paradise. That is stuff is so good, and I really do love it. I buy it for all of my friends and family when they want a voluminous mascara, but I'm not about that life sometimes, and I want just something that's going to make my eyelashes really separate and long and fluffy, like eyelash extension kind of look, and this is what gives me what I want. So found this a couple weeks ago. It's a really good price, and I've already bought it for some of my friends. Also, if you guys are looking for a eyelash curler, stop and pay attention because this is the only one that you should be buying. This is the Shiseido Eyelash Curler. It is expensive. It is like $20, but let me tell you, it is worth it. It comes with like the extra things to put in here if it wears out but it just curls my eyelashes so good i've tried a lot of them my mom has gone through like so many different brands of eyelash curlers but this is definitely my favorite and i bought this for my cousin and my mom um and it's just a favorite so i think a lot of people can agree that this is one of the best eyelash curlers out there am i done with makeup no i'm not so you guys are probably wondering if i'm done with the makeup um but i'm almost done okay so what i use for lip liner is the milani 
uh, color statement lip liner true instant color in 04 all natural okay so this is the one I love I've had it for a long time now I don't wear it every day but if I want some lip color that's not just a uh, bomb.com uh, I will use this as a liner and then my two favorites I picked this up last year Black Friday deal at Ulta and this is the Bare Mineral Glosses and Live Wire and Temptress and they're so good I'm pretty sure this one has some minty stuff in it so if you're not into it I don't recommend this but I can handle it and I really like it. it's really plumping this one I don't think it has the minty stuff in it but it is so pretty I'm wearing it right now it's just a little bit of shine and shimmer but it's so good it makes your lips look so juicy so I really recommend these two um, I have no idea how much they are normally but I think I got them for like $10 on Black Friday okay guys we are done with makeup okay put it away over there now we're moving on to skincare so some of the stuff that I use for skincare I don't currently have with me because I did give my cousin some stuff because she needed it a little bit more than I did because of like breaking out my skin has been doing pretty good so I didn't need some of the products so I'd let her use them um, to see if they would help her skin out but I really like the Glossier Milky Jelly Cleanser. I'll insert a picture right here and uh, this thing I've been using for over a year now it is so good especially if you have sensitive skin super gentle takes off your makeup and it lasts you a pretty good time so if you're looking for one that's a good one the one I'm using currently is the meaningful beauty Cindy Crawford skin softening cleanser I have no idea how much this is regularly but I did get this Suzanne blessed box where she partnered with Cindy Crawford and I got the whole box for $25 and it was like over $300 worth something like that of skincare from Cindy Crawford's line from Meaningful Beauty and I was like we're all about to get that because it looks good so I got it and I really love this cleanser it really does take off all of your makeup and it's so nice and softening so the title is right. Another thing that I don't have with me is the Glossier Solution this is like the exfoliating skin perfector that's what it is I'll insert a picture here and uh, I love that thing. I've raved about it forever. That thing cleared my skin up so much, got rid of so much of my scarring. I love it to death. The thing is, is that now that my skin is a little bit more clear, it can be a little bit drying for me sometimes because my skin doesn't need it as much. So I did let my cousin use it and it's actually been helping her skin out a lot. So if you are having problem with acne or scarring um, on your cheeks, on your forehead, whatever, your chin, especially for me, I definitely recommend that for you. Another thing that came in the blessed box was the intensive triple exfoliating treatment I do this once a week from the meaningful beautiful line and beautiful beauty line and it's really good and then I also use their um, youth activating melum serum this is really nice I definitely saw my skin was like so soft when I would use this this is like their number one product I think from the meaningful beauty line and I see why because this stuff is good at night I also use their um, what is this overnight retinol repairing cream this stuff is really good at night it is thick so do not use this during the day unless you're really dry but um this stuff has a pretty good amount of product in here I don't know if you can see no you cannot see but um I really recommend this uh, I have no idea how much it is so I'm sorry if it is expensive but it works really good what am I talking about now I also use their uh, lifting eye cream this also came in the box it is nice does not dry my eyes out I know that sounds weird but some um, eye creams have dried out my under eyes and this one is really moisturizing which has helped a lot during the winter time so I know you're probably thinking what happened to glossy I thought you loved glossy man I still do okay this stuff I cannot get away from it okay hello are you gonna focus <laughs> Okay, I swear the top of this is pink, okay, but it is the Glossier Priming Moisturizer and it really is a priming moisturizer. It primes my face. I can wear makeup on top. I don't even use a primer anymore. I use this stuff and it is so good. The other thing from Glossier that I really love is the uh, Invisible Shield Daily Sunscreen. It has a uh, SPF of 35, which is the perfect amount. Guys, I love this. It is truly invisible. It does not break out my skin it is not oily it dries like almost matte and I love this I tried other skin like other sunscreens and I was like maybe like it's not as good as I think it is but it really is so especially for guys I know a lot of guys hate sunscreen that has like a white cast especially girls when you have makeup on but 
This is so good and it's yellow, okay? So the boys should be able to use it. Get over the colors thing, okay? All right, for my lips at night, I love to use the Glossier Bomb.com Universal Skin Salve. Uh, this is the original um, like formula and it's so good. I truly use this every single night. I've already gotten a second one. <sighs> I just love this thing. Okay, so if you guys haven't tried the bomb.coms, really try them. I like the universal one, and I also like the mint bomb.com. This one will really plump up your lips. I use this in the morning, like right before I go to school, so my lips are like... But, um, I like this one. It's really good. All right, my last thing for skincare is my face halo. I still use this little buddy. I love it. I have, um multiple my some my mom sometimes uses them and she uses them with like weird stuff that like you're not supposed to use it for and they like get all messed up but I take care of mine and I've had this for over a year now okay that's a long time I can't even imagine how many like uh makeup wipes I would have used in replace of this but I'm glad that I didn't because this thing takes off my makeup just as good and is better for the environment people so uh if you want to get something for your mom really quick for their birthday or for Christmas last minute they come good packs and I think they're like $25 for three so I like these get them all right guys we can move on to hair care now I if you're still watching this video I love you because you have some patience all right so first we're starting off with the bumble and bumble hairdressers invisible oil heat slash UV protective primer holy crap that's not a good title this needs to be shorter um I love this my hairdresser a shout out to her she recommended this for me and I love it it detangles my hair so good offers that you know heat protected especially from the sun because people forget that even when you're out in the sun the sun is damaging your hair so you need to protect it on a daily basis not just when you put like straightening your hair or curly you need to put this on on a daily basis so that your hair especially if you have colored hair so that it doesn't like change in the sunlight so i love this stuff mixed with mixed with the wet and dry uh brush by Kala. my hairdresser also recommended that i get a wet brush so that when i brush my hair and it's wet that it is better for my hair and it doesn't like really pull and tug at it because that can be really damaging especially for the ends of your hair so I use two these two in conjunction and they are best friends I love them for shampoo and conditioner I have been using the same shampoo and conditioner for a while which is very rare for me I used to just get random ones uh every time I ran out and just well, let me try this one out let me try this one out at the drugstore and then I realized they're not good for your hair and they have soul free what am I saying sulfates <laughs> and parabens and that's not good for your hair so my hairdresser is like girl you need to find a good one i did try one from orbe a while back and they were great but guys are expensive but i do i am glad that i used them when i first got my hair done to kind of get my hair back in a healthy state but unfortunately i started to get dandruff and i was really worried i was like where is this dandruff coming from and i realized that because my hair is so oily um that the oils are coming from my scalp up and then they're pushing all of the dead skin um, from my scalp up and that's why I was getting dandruff and I realized that if I don't wash my hair every two days at least I will get dandruff and because I had been washing my hair every single day since I was little and all of a sudden I wasn't because my hairdresser was like don't do that that's bad for your hair which he's right but I rarely I'm one of the rare people that have extremely oily hair so I wash my hair every two days but I know that tea tree has helped a lot with my hair and so I use the maple holistics tea tree uh shampoo and conditioner they're a good price it's a good amount and they are sulfate and paraben free so if you're looking for a good one especially if you have oily hair tea tree is your friend definitely get these I got them on Amazon but my favorite thing that I have gotten this year is this thing you're probably like what the heck is this thing let me tell you this is the box this is from from where vitagoods.com but i got it on amazon because you know i'm about that amazon life and uh this is the scalp massaging shampoo brush oh my gosh i messed that up a little bit so this thing you turn it on here you gotta press it a couple times to like wake it up a little bit and then it starts vibrating you put it, I like to put it on number two because that's the extra vibrating and you hold it like this it's nice and easy for your hand and I just go oh 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 you know I have a shampoo in my hair and I just I get really in there guys like literally I'm like 
and you think it hurts but this thing is like really soft it's like silicone and uh it actually feels so good on your scalp it's like when you you know when you like you itch your head and it feels really nice this is what that is like it is so nice i love it and i have long hair so if short hair people and long hair people can use this that was one thing i was worried about but it still works really good and this what it does is it exfoliates my scalp even further so that i don't get dandruff as much so it's really getting all the dead skin cells out don't have to worry about it no more so I love this. I think it was like $10. You can't even beat that price. And it has worked so well. So love this. Really recommend. I'll link it down below. The last thing on my hair care list is the Pantene Air Spray Healthy Style and Feel. It is alcohol free, guys. This is my favorite hairspray. I will never use another one again because I hate crunchy hairsprays. I don't like, like when I curl my hair and I like how soft it is and then I put hairspray in and it's like... You know, it's like, there's no life, it doesn't move, it's like fake looking, I hate it. Like, my boyfriend likes to touch my hair sometimes, and then if I, I put hairspray in, not this one, but another one, he's like, ew, what is wrong with your hair? So, I like this one, it's so nice, it has like the three on it, which means that it's a brushable strong cold, which is perfect for me. So, if you're looking for one that is alcohol free and better for the environment, uh, use this one. Okay guys, we are on to the last section. Thank God. Okay, so these are just items I don't really know what category to put them in, but I really love them and I've used them all year or one of them I got a few days ago, but I know I'm going to love all year too, so I'm going to recommend it. Okay, number one. Number one is the Flawless Legs. You're like, what is that? I will show you. Ta-da! Okay, so this thing, this little machine is actually so cool. I will show you. So you take this little cap off. You charge it. You press the little button that's right here. Oh! Okay, I'm going to turn it off. I know it sounds really scary, but this thing shaves your leg hairs. I'm not even joking. This thing actually took all my leg hairs and made them so smooth. I was so scared, and it does not hurt one bit. It actually kind of feels nice, like you're getting a little massage on your, on your legs. So... I'll tell you how I got this. My boyfriend's mom, I just call her mom-in-law because I love her. She got this for me for Christmas and I did not think this thing was going to work, okay? But let me tell you, this thing is no joke. It will actually do what it says it's going to do and I think that this is the smartest thing to ever be invented that actually works because you don't need no shaver, you don't need no cream, you don't need no water. It's better for the environment because all you have to do is just clean it out every every week or so and get the hairs out and you're done. And I literally, next year I'm gonna get this for so many people. I've already used it on me, my grandma, my cousin, my mom, they all love it. And they're like, oh, screw shavers, cutting myself, bleeding in the freaking uh, shower, no. I'm gonna get this so really recommend it literally all it says on there was flawless legs that the only information I can give you I think she got it from like Bed Bath & Beyond I don't know but try your best to go and find it I'll try and link it below that's what I'll do okay cuz I got you you're gonna need this in your life so the next thing is something very simple it is just a sleep mask I got this from Bed Bath & Beyond before I went to college because I knew that if my roommate was gonna be doing her homework I wanted to be able to like sleep in like complete darkness because that's how I am I cannot have any light in my room that's just how I am so I made sure to get this and even though I'm back at home I still use this because um, the light from my window still gets in so I can sleep as long as I want with this thing on and uh, it's really good it's a good price I don't remember what the name of it is this is what it looks like though but you can definitely find this at Bed Bath & Beyond and it's a good price so don't worry about that and it's cushioned so yeah, go get yourself one. All right, my last materialistic item for this whole freaking video is my clear backpack. This thing has been my best friend for most of the year when I had my Disney pass. I go in the line, I go through that line so quickly because he literally just look at my bag, he wouldn't even open it and I go through because he could see everything, my tampons, my makeup, everything, whatever he didn't want to see, he got to see it. Um, so I love this bag. My mom got it at Forever 21 for me. I love you so much, mom. 
And, um, yeah, you can also bring this to UCF football games, uh, I asked. So if you're in the UCF area and you're wanting a bag, go find this one. I have no idea if they still have them. Uh, I, some of my friends are telling me that they're sold out. But if they ever put them back in stock, this is the perfect size. So um, go get yourself one of these backpacks. It is so nice. And, uh, yeah, it's really cute, too. It goes with every outfit. I don't know if this is uh, supposed to be a part of this video, but I wanted to tell you my two favorite movies that I saw this year one is adrift i saw that with my boyfriend and my mom and i know it wasn't like that big of a movie the one with shailene woodley and you know uh the guy from the hunger games a really cute one you know what i'm talking about so those two made that movie and it was so freaking good it's a true story and i cried my eyes out you all need to see it, it has a plot twist it'll get you so good i love that movie such good acting <sighs> Okay, my second one is, of course, A Star is Born. If you haven't seen that movie, you're not doing life correctly, okay? You need to get up, and I think you're going to have to buy it on DVD now because it's already gone. But uh, A Star is Born is the best movie of the whole freaking year, Lady Gaga. And, oh, my God, I can't remember his freaking name. I'm going to look it up really quick. Oh, it's Bradley Cooper. See, Lady Gaga and Bradley Cooper are the best couple on TV I've seen in so long. The movie, the plot, the storyline, the singing, the acting is brilliant. I literally cannot wait until I get my hands on that DVD because I'm going to rewatch it again. All the music on that soundtrack is music that you could sing with your family, that you could hear on the radio. It's so good. It's so genuine. There's such emotion to all of the words and every song and every part of the movie that you can't help but feel every single minute of it. And I just love it. I appreciate films like that. And I wish that more movies were, were like that. You know what I'm talking about. Now, before I go, I did want to say one last thing. I know this video is already at, like, probably an hour long, so one more minute of me talking will not bother you if you're still watching, but I wanted to thank all of you guys watching my videos so much because I just checked, and my roommate story time video is at 100... No, what am I saying? It's at a thousand views. I'm sorry, I said that wrong. But I checked the other day, and it said 1K, and I literally, like, looked at that thing for a minute, and I was like... Is that right? 1K? A thousand people have watched that video? And that doesn't sound like that much to you sometimes, but most of my videos only get like 75 views, and I'm okay with that. Like, if 75 people have enjoyed this video, then I'm, I'm good. But a thousand people, I don't know if it probably has to do with the title, Horror Story. I just looked at other roommate videos, and a lot of them were like that. So I was like, you know what? That was a horror, horror story for me. So that is going to be the title. But Either way, if someone got something out of that video, I'm so happy and I hope that it helped some people going to college this year or next year. But I just want to thank you guys from the bottom of my heart for all of that and I hope to continue making YouTube videos for this year. I love all of you guys. I hope you have a fabulous 2019 and uh, make sure you follow all of your New Year's resolutions because uh, I broke mine. No Dr. Pepper. Oh my gosh. I started working at Jimmy Hula's and I started drinking Dr. Pepper again. I'm so sorry. But make sure you follow your, those resolutions. Mine is going to be to uh, start working out, be consistent because I got some new workout stuff I'm going to use this year. But I'm blabbling now. Um, I love you guys. I will see you guys in my next video. I have no idea when that's going to be, but bye-bye.